All right, all right. We are going to record today with the Holland Hoosiers. It's not a long drive because it's at the neighbor's house. Pretty cool story. Older couple, they moved in next door. I uh, end up making friends and turns out the guy's got a recording studio in his basement. And I said, well, I'm a musician, so it's been a pretty cool thing. Ron's a cool guy. We're gonna go meet him and uh, we'll see what we can uh, see what we can record. Good night recording. Getting, working on getting the vlog going back again. It's a lot of extra work shooting, shooting video angles and thinking ahead of that. But it's pretty good recording. We hadn't played in a month, which is not how you really want to go into a studio situation. But luckily, we're not necessarily got a high overhead cost to do it. But uh, it was pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with what we got. We actually reworked a song on the fly I think we really got a winner out of it uh, or at least at least better than what it was but uh, yeah hopefully I got some footage I can get the get the vlog rolling here again hopefully this camera works I don't know I'm always uh, I'm always bad of not wanting to start something until I got all the perfect cameras all the perfect shit but the fact is you're never gonna start anything if you wait for everything to be perfect so here goes the vlog and uh yeah oof, it's freezing freezing here in indiana and uh gonna go back in this house hopefully it's warm and kids are screaming and running around like they normally do but uh yeah it's day one of recording it's pretty good i guess you can call it day two or three but there was a pretty pretty long gap between pretty long gap between when we did it last time this so we'll just call it day one and so got that shit rolling. Uh, another couple days, we'll get back in there again, and hopefully, I hope, hopefully we can hammer this Howlin' Hoosier album out. And then, uh, yeah, back to the grind tomorrow and uh, Saturday on the road with old Johnny James. He's playing acoustic, but I'll be going with to uh, basically play tour manager role get some video it'll be acoustic only with old Blanco Brown and uh, I don't know help with merch and whatever we'll takes a takes a team to run the show whether it's an acoustic show or you know the whole band in production headliner 
it's all the, it's, it's a lot of the same moving parts got to move so we'll be doing that Saturday and uh, got a lot of cool stuff in the work but I'm tell you what I'm worn out I'm gonna head inside get some dinner drink some jack fire kick my feet up and uh, call tonight all right here we go Alright y'all, here we go again, day two of recording, I'm six minutes behind, but once again, short drive to the neighbor's house to record, do about two and a half hour session there, and then I'll have to hit the road for an acoustic show with Johnny James, so that's going to be a cool one, basically be guitar teching and stage managing that show, and uh, But it's cool too because I get to pick up our new lights tonight. Uh, that's gonna be a whole nother episode. Be a whole nother episode within itself. Getting our lights programmed, set up to run with our tracks on Ableton. Getting uh, Joey to implement these tracks. Might be a battle within itself. One thing to learn some technology yourself. And then it's a whole another one to uh, teach somebody how to do it with any form of reliability so uh, yeah that's what's up looks like we're all getting here at the same time should be a, should be a good time here It's pulling in behind me. I think we're all here at the right time, so here we go. Morning. Oh man, Clint's new ride. Clint's want to be in the want to get that in the video. That's a nice truck, dude. That thing sure is yellow. Old yellow. Don't do no crime in that. They'll be able to find you. They definitely don't want to rob a bank with that truck. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Got it, got it. Well, we're, we're not scared yet. Yeah. How much better? Yeah. It, you know, it, it's just tinkering around with it. Just adjusting it, adjusting it until you get it where it's solid. Right down to the wire. All the time. Good, solid. Good, solid recording. Pretty happy with that. Studio shit is always funny. Go home. Gotta wake up. My teenager got my boy this weekend. I'll wake his ass up so he's ready to go to a party or some shit here in a little bit. And then I gotta hit the road. Gotta meet up with Johnny and the gang. Teenager woke up, of course, right down to the running on time. We live on the central time zone here in Indiana. If you're from Indiana, then you know how whack the time zones are. I got everything. Phone, backpack. Oh, I always feel so naked. Not, not having all my stuff. But. We're playing in the eastern time zone, that means. So at 11.45 now. Anyone who doesn't know about feels like the bigger shows you play, the earlier sound checks get, and the more time you end up sitting around waiting to play. So there's gonna be some of that, but we lose an hour automatically on the travel to pick up our new stage lighting. Super stoked! Oh, Super stoked about that. Now the now the pressure comes to 
put it all together, so. So now if I fail, there's no one to blame. I don't know, about a 15 minute drive where we're meeting up for this, and then uh, probably two and a half hour, two and a half hour drive east towards Ohio, still being in Indiana, in Fort Wayne. Been at this venue a few times, so nothing too new. Never know when you're an opening artist. You just never know. Uh, never know who you're getting into. And then, uh, um, honestly, most you know, the, the toughest acts that we've had to work with. I don't want to name drop and say we've had. Uh, you know, open for this guy's guy. I'm not gonna leave a trail of names I've dropped. But all the big time guys are easy to work with. Um, on the flip side, as an opener guest on their stage uh, it's important to play by the rules for one and play in the pin in which you've been placed and I always say hey man you can call us whatever you want just don't call us hard to work with because that's not a reputation you want in this day and age ever in life um, so but we've been on bills with other eh, we'll call them regional acts guys that play bars and stuff and I think they're big dogs or maybe they are big dogs to their people I don't know but those are the guys that are hard to work with man we've we've been we got hired for a gig just due to uh, uh, we had to leave town we had a show on the road so we said no oh, man just uh, just put us as the opening slot for the, they wanted us to play after these guys and uh, we said all right well we have to leave town we're gonna We'd rather just open for these guys. Well, we show up. These guys are sound checking late. Our load ins all messed up. And then uh, to boot, uh, you know, they did sound check and they don't move their gear off the stage. Like you know, they thought they were some big, big cheese. But the funny thing is, is uh, I'm pretty sure we got paid more uh, than they did in the first place. So that's funny that they would puff their chests out. But the whether take that all take all the logistics accolades whatever out of it it's not the not the way you want to be you know what I mean so now when I see that band playing a bar or a brewery or something like that I go ah man what a, what a bunch of jags as big as the music industry is it's also s small and you just don't ever want to get that reputation I take the, I take the old way through town just to time kind of guy I guess. Oh, oh, oh big guy. Oh, I got what up? What, what up? This is my vlog. Yeah, there you go. That's Merch Girl Amanda. What's up? What up? Your vlog. That's my vlog. Johnny James. <laughs> this is how you roll when you're big time. <laughs> Did you see the front of that one? I've seen the front of that one. <laughs> Maybe YouTube wants to see the front of that one. This is how this is what happens when over eager fans get in the way. <laughs> they find out. Right, the more you fuck around, the more you find out. And that deer found out, so. So what's up? All right, we'll check back in here a little bit. Are you two backstage at Pierre's, Fort Wayne, Indiana? What up? Drummer Joey, along for the ride tonight. Let's go see what this place looks like. text on this thing <laughs> what's going on over here Amanda oh just you know inventory and inventory yeah that sounds professional gotta smooth this shit out you want this shit done right you gotta do it yourself I'm just kidding, Amanda. I'm just kidding. We got all this shit. 
folks, folks, we got all this shit. We run out, we'll go out to the truck and get another limited supply. <laughs> Buy it up, got some koozies. This shit will keep your shit warm or cold or both. Depending on what it starts out at. We got them CDs. You know they're upside down. Oh, we're on the other side. Yeah, and then it's just front and back. People think there's four different CDs. Oh, I thought we I like had to do front and back. I thought we cut four. That albums. way they don't have to be like, oh, looky here. Just the front and the back. I got it ready for them. That's a she's a thinker. She's a thinker, folks. Got all this shit. Thanks. Is Amanda drinking on the job. What? Wait, you gotta. What is that? She flipped that shit around, bro. Oh, it's okay now. It's okay then. You can drink on the job as long as it's out of a Johnny James tumbler. Yep. Trust me, your boss is fine with it. Well, folks, it looks like the merch booth's under control thanks to my presence. So, we'll let Manny get back to. Uh, you did such a great job. Thank you, man. She's counting. Thank you. He's the best. That's me. Johnny soundcheck. A rare look at the photographer. He doesn't like pictures being taken of him. No press. No pre no flash photography, sir. <laughs> you want more of the lines up there? Alright. Yeah. Saddam the photographer. Making the vlog debut. Oh. The vlog is rebooted. It's going down. The vlog is back on. <laughs> Salts are in. That's roofy. <laughs> what is it? I fucking roofing all, dude. I, that's the eh, smallest roofie I've ever tasted. Roofy. Rum, worse. Hey, from a captain guy, Nick. You're being a fucking pussy, drinking. Dude, listen. If you saw how much captain I drank on my like 16th birthday, you would never drink that shit again. <laughs> hey, you got this dude's back. Listen, she's gonna be confused when she comes back with an order. Right. Oh boy. All right, folks. We're home. Day started at nine o'clock. Much later than that, much colder. Glad to be home. Good show out in Fort Wayne. Good show, good time recording today. Oh, I got a truckload of light lighting that I get to figure out how to set up. And uh, according to FedEx, I got a new bass guitar sitting in the house. So I would say today is a good day. I'll go home get in bed with my hot ass wife assuming there ain't kids already in my spot and uh, yeah, give her give her a go tomorrow cooter basher out <laughs>